coverage of local high school basketball on WCIA 3 is sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance Group. Now, all the action and excitement of Full Court Friday. It's Full Court Friday, big game edition. Have you heard about the big game? It's called the Super Bowl, right? I think so. Andy Olson and Brett Barron's here on Super Bowl weekend with the home stretch insight for basketball around Illinois. Brackets out today for boys basketball. Regional finals just two weeks from now as the countdown to marches on. Scores rolling at the bottom of the screen. And we start with 16 games ahead for you tonight. Let's get started. And we go to Vermilion County with a showdown between two of the best teams in the BBC. Salt Fork at 24 and 2. The Storm's only two losses to Bismarck inning Rossville Allen. The Blue Devils 22 and 6 coming in and off to a hot start. Brett Meidel bounces out to Aiden Ingram for the three. Blue Devils up by five. And then it's Micah Stanford driving baseline. No stop at him. He goes off glass. 9-0 to start the game. Storm retaliating. Blake Norton down low to Ty Smoot. Puts it up. A little smooch from the roll. The Devils up seven at that point. Then Hayden Rice out to Meidel. Goes baseline with it for the reverse layup. This one closer than it began, but 55-50 BHRA. A winner tonight. Iroquois West second in the VVC. The Raiders step out of conference, but to face Prairie Central. The Hawks leading the Atlanta and Prairie. Final minutes of this one. Raiders, Ryan Manahan a little strong, but Jace Hankey, they're on the other side of the block to clean it up there for the Raiders. Then Prairie Central moving the ball around the horde. Eventually, J.C. Spence finds Colton Stork for deep from three. Bench loving that one. Then Iroquois West, Dean Clendon in with the response on the other end, but all Hawks in this one, 59-29. Rivalry matchup between Unity and St. Joseph Ogden. If the seeds released today hold, this would be a preview of the regional title game two weeks from tonight. Lock gets out to the early lead, and it's Austin Langendorf working around Ty Pence for two to get Unity going. Then a perfect pick and roll play called out here. Andrew Thomas finds Langendorf, who goes with the lefty finish. But here come the Spartans. Logan Smith, quick pass to a cutting. Tanner Jacob makes the tough finish. Then Pence... Finding nothing but nets. Top of the key gets it to Deep go. 9-0 run for SJO. Unity calls timeout. And they win it 67-50. to All Spartans tonight. Also in the Illini Prairie. Senior night for St. Thomas Moore. Hosting Monticello tied up late in the third when the Sabres get out and running. Peace boom to Andrew Tay for two. Sages respond. Nice pass, better mullet. They go hand in hand there. See how that works, Andy? They sure do. You got to have one, you got to have the other. But Sabres score five out of the next six to close the quarter. Wilson Kirby, crafty around the defender, pull up for two of his team high 11, 47 41. STM defends home court and takes it. Mount Zion won its first Apollo title since 2015 this week. The Braves have won 11 in a row. Visit Matt Toon tonight. Great pass to Braden Trimble. Slick as ever for the layup as the Braves are up big in this one. Then Grant McAtee from the corner. Three points from there as the Braves continue to pile it on. Response though from Andrew Wetzel gets this to go from the wing. 78-44. Braves get the road dub. And of course, also in the Apollo, Muhammad Seymour matches up with Taylorville. Love the intros out there in Muhammad. The dogs firing from three early. Jacob Waldinger lets it fly from the wing, gets all three of those. Then great work on the offensive glass here. Off the miss, Dayton Eisenman goes right back up with it. That one gets a friendly roll, count it, and the foul. Now, great pass to Byron Lynch, drives the lane and gets this floater to go. All MS in this one, 60 to 36, the final there. Charleston steps out of Apollo play to face Marshall. Pick this one up in the first quarter. And Trojans' Caleb Oakley, he fires, gets that one to go from long range. Then Oakley, this time from the other side, right in the corner, splashes that one as well. Charleston trying to hang tough this season, but up and down for him. Josh Sipes, same corner, same results. 83-61, all Trojans, as they get the win over Marshall. St. Teresa starts the night in first place of the Central Illinois Conference, trying to take that title with them on their way out the door. The Bulldogs tangle with Tuscola Indicator. Good movement by the O, and it's hot damn Cam Sweet. Nam knocks it down and lets them know it on the three. An immediate response from the Dogs. Shadow Summer gets that to go on the wing. Close game down the stretch. Summer crashing the rim. Good pass to him, and he lays it in. 
67-65 St. T. This squeaks out the win on their home court. More CIC action as Warrensburg Latham rolls out the welcome. That's for Shelbyville. Number one, to, one way to stay on the court, crash that offensive glass off the rebound. Alex Harden doing the dirty work. And good passing around the key. Ball movement key. And the Rams able to cash in. Ethan Wells splashes it home. Then the pass inside to Brody Bohm working around it. Right by the defender. 61-55. Shelbyville with the win. All right, well, if you've been counting at home, that's nine games down. Still seven more to go on full court Friday. Plus, we check in with the Alana after an unexpected week between games. Longest stretch since Christmas break that they have not played a game. But first, a trip around the Big 12. We check in with Danville, Central Centennial, Havana, and a great showdown between Sacred Heart Griffin and Normal U High with a long CS8 winning streak on the line for the Cyclones. All that and more next.